Hello everybody, I am Tom and you are watching me play Dark Souls Remastered. In today's episode, I think we're going to go kill the Witch of Isleth. I have just- am I mid-rolling? No, I'm fast-rolling. But... Yeah, that feels better, I don't know why. It may be making no difference, but... I'm going to assume that it's correct. So, we're going to go kill the Witch of Isleth. Which means we have to make our way down and through Isolith, which, that's something. I'm not sure if we'll make it all the way to the Witch of Isolith today. My assumption is probably yes. Although that involves killing like three bosses, so maybe not, now I think about it. <laughs> um, I think we'll at least get to you and kill Centipede Demon. Hmm. Yeah, Witch of Isolith is actually a fairly deep way into... Yeah, because you got to kill the Demon Fire Sage, and then Centipede Demon. And only then do you get to a whole other area, which will then take you to the boss. Hmm. Hmm. I'll think about it. Ow. Missed time I roll there, but what you going to do? Hmm. I can't do the drop if I have not full health. I guess we'll go down the normal way. Whoop. But, anyway, it's been a while since I've played Dark Souls. Uh, ooh. I've been playing about a month. I'm actually playing this, like, incredibly close to when I need to upload it. I'm uploading it tomorrow. Um, so I'm playing this on the Sunday, it's going out on the Monday. Um, I don't know why I kind of didn't record fully ahead with this. Most series I do, because I kind of get far enough ahead that, like, I'm always at least a couple of weeks ahead, but for some reason with Dark Souls I didn't, I just kind of forgot. I don't know. I've been playing a lot of Terraria recently, which may have something to do with it. And that just eats a lot of time, so... Alright, so we're pretty much there. Now I think of it, I think you can actually uh, teleport to this bonfire, so I could have been wasting all this time, but we'll see. Alright, we're good. Oh, someone saw me. But it doesn't matter. Alright, so down through Quailag's Domain we go... Am I going to have to worry about this poison? Probably not. But, in any case, it's been a while since I've played, so apologies if there's some bad plays. I'm sure there will be. Um, I think what we're going to do today is we're going to walk our way through and find our way to... Uh, we've already beaten Ceaseless Discharge. Um, so we can go directly down. Demon Fire Sage is going to be very, very soon. We're pretty much there. Um, and then after that, we've got to go to Hill Centimede Demon, which will be pretty much directly after that. I don't need to set it up on fire. I can go to the other one. Um, and then after Centipede Demon, you know, I might be able to get all of them done. I'm going to try and keep the video around 20, 30 minutes, so... We'll see. I'm kind of... I don't really know how long it's going to take me, that's the thing. It's... It's, uh... I suppose it depends as well on, um... On how many... Congratulations, someone just beat Quailag. Um, it also depends, I suppose, on how long it takes me to beat these bosses. Because assuming I get there, like, my first attempt and I just beat them, it's probably fine, but... Hmm... 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 Seek my noises. Alright, so after you beat Ceaseless Discharge, all of this area drains, and there's a lot of demons down here, as you can see. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you can see particularly well, but there's a Capra demon over there, and over here is a lot of Taurus demons. Seven, I think? Maybe eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven. Over there is an Ember. 
um, that will up your fire damage on your weapons if you want to do fire enhancements. I don't really care about killing these guys. I'm not going to. <laughs> it's just it's so much effort for such a little gain for something that I'm literally not going to use. This, however, is the correct direction you want to go. One shot. Oh, and we got the Demon Great Machete too. Great. Um, I don't know if I'm human currently. We could get invaded here. Um, if you're human while you're coming through this section, you'll get invaded by Kirk. He was the guy who wears the spiky armor. And it looks like we're not human. No, we're not. So we didn't get invaded. So that saves some time. Uh, these guys here? You just, just ignore them. They're trash. Come down here instead. Now this guy is here, who's a pain in the dick, but... Ow. He's a particularly pain in the dick because he does a lot of damage. Alright, I'll cut. I'll be back there. There we go, and we're back. Killing him is useful for a few reasons. One, there's an item here. Soul of a Proud Knight, not too bad. Secondly, there's a bonfire here. Bonfire lit. Um, we need like 36,000 to level up, so I'm not going to level up. Um, coming through here, first thing worth noting, this here is a centipede demon. As disgusting as he is. We fight him later. We actually make our way down to the bottom and then fight him in that bottom arena, but you can actually see him all the way from the start here. Hitting him doesn't do anything, unfortunately. I'd love it if you could like do a pre-boss fight up here or something. That would have been awesome. But I like the foreshadowing of him up there in the first place. It's quite cool. And there's a lot of people who don't notice him, because he's not exactly obvious unless you go the way I went. If you go along the top, you're not likely to see him. Uh, also, some statues will attack you here. Don't worry about it. It's not too serious. I'll blow fire at you. Just hit them, they die. Soul of a Proud Knight, presumably killed by the Centipede Demon. Hard to tell, really, but... Gorgeous view, indeed. There is a lot of gorgeous views in this place. Kind of looking at the architecture as an enemy coming up behind me, but, you know. The way the lava flows off here looks really, really cool. This, by the way, is right near the kiln of the first flame. This big thing here is the kiln of the first flame. Oh, hello. <laughs> this is me standing here looking at things. Very, very cool area. Um, it... Probably won't come out amazing on YouTube, because YouTube has a notorious problem with red. Um, it really doesn't like rendering red particularly well. I'm gonna kill this Taurus demon. Why not? There we go. I can two-shot him, so it's less of an issue. Um, I'll go to the... Eh, do I go to the left? There's really not a whole lot there. If you go to the left, there's an ember up there in that chest directly above my head right now. Do I have binoculars? I don't know whether I ever picked them up. I can use menus. Um, <laughs> ah, yeah, I did. Sweet. Just there, there's a chest. There's an ember in there. I'm not particularly interested in it, so I'm not gonna bother going over there. You need to kill uh, two Taurus demons. And then there's a bunch of those worm things that drop out of the roof. It's, it's just, it's not worth it. It's, so instead what I'm going to do, I'm actually just going to run to the boss. There's worm thing there. Pretty safe to ignore to the most part, they can't really do anything to. I don't really care about you two either. Now, down this way, there's a few things of note that we can get. Um, I don't die. Which... You know, it's more of than a possible, <laughs> more than a slight possibility that I could. Um, I'll jump over there. Hup. There we go. Um, <laughs> coming over this way first is generally easier because I'm going to head back up eventually. Item: Soul of a Brave Warrior. Liar ahead. I guess someone's saying that there was an item up here because I don't think there is. I'm going to go up to check because I can't remember. I'll be perfectly honest. 
but it may just lead to a dead end all the way up here, which it looks like it does. Great. Um, <laughs> if you want to get back from here, you actually have to drop down. You can see there, that tree there, you should be able to drop down with that without dying. I put the operative word on should because, well, I could be wrong. I think if I drop down here, I'm fine. Yeah, fine. Which will take you back up. I want to explore down here a bit first. Now, if you join a covenant, a particular covenant... Oh, hello. Hello, little bugs. You're the fake sunlight maggots. Um, if you join the Sister of Fire Covenant, so the one with Quaylog's sister, um, you can give her enough... Locked by some contraction. You can give her enough humanity and she'll actually open this door for you, which is a huge shortcut in this area. Um, you can actually avoid two bosses by doing it. I'm not doing that, however, because one, I can't be bothered giving her all that humanity. And secondly, I, you know, I want to fight all the bosses anyway, so... It's somewhat less relevant. But, the first boss we're going to fight is right up here. It's the Demon Fire Sage. It is one of the recycle bosses. Which is a shame. Uh, also, these guys won't follow you into this little section, so you can just stay here, you're fine. So I fought this guy twice before already. Uh-oh. Get out. There we go. I'm just going to run away for a bit. There we go. As you can see, we fought this guy at the start of the game, and then when we ma went back, we fought the demon. Oy, oy, oy. That was close. I'm doing uh, Sekiro controls, by the way, is why I'm dying here. There we go. Jesus. Um, yeah, I was doing Sekiro controls, so I was pushing up to... Uh, pushing up to heal, which is not correct. Bullshit. That explosion did a lot less than I was expecting, I'll be perfectly honest. Used all my stamina there, which, never a good idea. That's a shame. Ow. <laughs> Clearly out of practice. Not too difficult, though. There we go, he's dead. He drops a Demon Catalyst as well as Humanity. We'll take a look at that Demon Catalyst because it's interesting. Um, where are my Catali? Catalysts? I don't know. Demon Catalyst formed from Isolus Molten Rock can be used as Fire Weapon. The Demon Fire Sage was the first demon and the last master of the original Fire Arts, which the Witch of Isolus was engulfed by Chaos, creating Pyromancy. Interesting there. It's, it's not clear to me whether or not this guy was the first one created by the Witch of Isolith, or whether or not he was a demon that existed before the Witch of Isolith. It's... It's hard to say, in all honesty. That's literally the only lore we get, is off that little that little uh, item description there. Now, if you head up, you can get an elevator shortcut. Honestly, I don't care much about the shortcut, but... 
I mean, I'll go up and get it. Why not? There's really nothing guarding it except for these guys, which I can one-shot, so I'm really not too worried, if I'm being perfectly honest. These guys, guarding a Brave Warrior Soul. And then we just come up here, which is an elevator to a spot that you will likely remember as soon as we get up there. Quailegs Domain. This is right in front of this bonfire here. I actually may sit at this bonfire. I can actually get very close to leveling up. Um, I need like 2,000 souls. I think this does it. Hey, I remember my soul values. Uh, actually, no, I need more than that. I think it was 36 total. That might be enough. I don't remember the 100 value. It was 36 something. Uh, 400, god damn it. Alright, so I need a few more. I should have over sold just to be careful I suppose. There we go. Should be right on perfect. Hey! Um, strength. We we're gonna go strength to 40 first if I remember correctly. I'm posting down to 14 souls. That sounds good going into the next boss. As I said, two bosses very close to each other in this area. But this is now ele elevated to take us back down which is handy. Um, if you go off this way, you'll fall back into the boss arena. Which we don't necessarily want to do. We want to come down the stairs, because it's probably going to be safer. Although, I guess there'll be less enemies if I jump down, but... Ow. I mean, that works. <laughs> that works, I mean... <laughs> Hell. Um, so we get another bonfire right here. There's two very, very close to each other. If you end up having some trouble with this boss, um, it's worth noting that you can summon Soul Air for this boss fight. If you've uh, progressed his storyline up to this point. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to run in and kill this guy. Um, it's worth noting, the majority of the floor of this place is made of lava. So, uh, don't step in the lava. I forgot there was a cutscene for this. There we go. The centipede demon that we saw earlier. Goddamn grotesque of this thing. Centipedes coming off at every which way. Which are like disgusting bugs in the first place. But then you add like seven of them all coming off the same thing. Um, you want to fight him... In here if you can. Oh god, I went into the lava. This is the easiest platform to fight him on I find. Ow. Yeah, that one's the easiest one to fight him on. Um, <laughs> as I do no damage and die. Um, you want him on the ground so you can be under him hitting his feet. I find to be by far the easiest way to fight him. Um, I think the way you're supposed to fight him in reality is to be standing like on the edge and wait till he sh like, throws his weird centipede arm head thing at you. Um, and then hit that. And then cut it off essentially. But I find 
getting him onto land and smacking his legs is usually the far nicer way of doing it. And I find the middle, the easiest way to actually coax him onto land is if you walk onto that middle section. But again, the problem is that you take damage. I don't know why I'm recovering 14 souls, but I am. That attack there, for instance, you can hit him on. There we go, I cut it off. <laughs> Which is kind of annoying, because now I have to fight the centipede. Because it does live by itself, which kind of sucks. Oh! I didn't know you could get that early. So apparently if you chop off that centipede and kill it, you get the orange charred ring. Which... By the way, is a ring that allows you to stand in lava. Or at least take a lot less damage from lava. But as you can see, pretty easy to kill. There he goes. He's going down. Um, that was weird. It broke my camera, but okay. <laughs> so you can get the orange charred ring, and what that ring allows you to do is walk on lava. There it is. As you can see now, the amount of damage we take from lava, greatly reduced. Still hurts, but you know, you don't instantly die, so that's something, I suppose. Um, we are sitting at about 20 minutes. I think I'm probably going to leave that for now, and we'll do Witch of Isleth at the start of next episode. Also, Solaire's here. Hey, Solaire. Why? Why? After all this searching, I still cannot find it. Poor Solaire. Sad part in his story, he begins to doubt himself, and he begins to get... Uh, forlorn. Why? He can still fly, Why? though. After all... What? Poor soul there. Does he have different dialogue if you light this bonfire? Let's have a look. Why? After all this No, he doesn't. Interesting. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed already, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching. And I shall see you next time, where we'll do The Witch of Isolith at the start of the episode. Uh, eh, start of the episode. We'll explore all of this area. Um, it is a fairly large area, and there's a fair few items through it, so I can show you where to get all of them. And then we'll kill The Witch of Isolith, and we'll see how we're going time-wise, I suppose. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.